Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel. So today is going to be a life update video just because a lot has been going on in my life. So let's just dive right in. So there's a couple new things that are going on. One, I am not nannying anymore. Um, I was let go was my well, I received my notice on the 22nd of July. I was let go the 9th of August, which was a Friday, which was my last day at work. Um, and I don't hold anything against that or anything, but I just wish they would have told me before I went on my vacation, just because then it was, like, I took two weeks off. And if I wouldn't have taken the time off, I would have saved that money and would have known, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. Um, but I mean, I loved the experience. I loved working with the kids and it was, it was something that I'll never forget. And I mean, I can still go see the kids. Like their parents have been pretty good about that. They're like, yeah, we, you can come see the kids. You can take them to the park, things like that. So it's not like I'm never going to see them again. Um... So when I was let go, I was torn between the option of um, nannying again for a different family or, let's fix that, there we go, um, or not nannying anymore and finding something different just because of when I found out that I was not going to have a job anymore, my whole emotional stability thing went down. I spent the night of the 22nd crying. I did not sleep. I did not know what I was going to do. Um, so I spent the whole night of the 22nd basically trying to figure out what I was going to do. So I applied at a bunch of different places and I was actually able to get a job at Superstore, which is a local grocery store. And so I'll be a cashier there. And then I also made the decision to apply for school again. So I was accepted um, at UMBC. And so I'll be returning there in January. So now with Superstore, I'll be able to work and still go to school at the same time. So I don't have to worry about the whole money situation which was obviously something that is concerning just because school is so expensive. Um, so to elaborate more on school, I am going back to school in January. I was accepted as a returning student at UMBC um, because I did go there. 2015 was my last semester, would have been April 2015. That was my last um, time there. Now, I've been thinking about school for quite a long time just because it was something that I'd always felt like I didn't finish. I didn't accomplish anything. Like, I went to school. I never, I've never graduated from a second, like a um, secondary education institute anywhere. Like, even through CNC, like the college, I never graduated. Um, and UMBC, I never graduated. So I felt like there was this um, disconnect. Like, I didn't know what it felt like to actually accomplish that so I had been thinking about it for a while and I was actually going to go back to school next September so September 2020 and I was going to go and get my degree and then when all this happened I'm like you know what I'm not waiting for another year if I'm working at Superstore like I want to be able to accomplish and if this way I can hopefully graduate by 2025 or 2026 I figured so what I'll be going back for is I'm going to get my major in history because that is something that I absolutely love. And then I'm getting a minor in archaeological anthropology, which is a mouthful. So basically, I want to be an archaeologist. I have recently found um, books, YouTube channels, um, YouTube videos, things like that, that have opened my eyes into what archaeology actually is. Like I had no understanding of what it actually was. Sorry, there's something on the lines. Um, 
So when I was able to find all this stuff out, I'm like, geez, this is exactly what I want to do. This is exactly what I want to accomplish in my life. So I'm doing that and I go see a um, advisor on the 14th of August. So this is filmed way in advance of when it's actually going up. But on the 14th of August, I'm going to see an advisor and then I get to um, register for all my courses. So, which will be nice because then I'll finally have like a an understanding of like my schedule and I'll have all that figured out before January even comes around. So another bit of life update is my sister and I are actually going to be moving home because my parents own the trailer that we live in. We just rent the rent it from them. And they've decided, well, we decided first that we didn't really want to be here. And then they had offered to let us move home. And we thought about it and we're like, yeah, let's, let's actually do it. So my parents are going to sell the place and then we'll move home and just have that be at home and then it'll be a lot easier for me too now that I'm going to be going back to school so it saves me a little bit of money um to be at home and not have to worry about anything which is nice and then we'll be at home too so we can help our parents out like my mom can't shovel the deck in the winter time it, it hurts her so it's easier that we're home we can help her with that um same as washing like the kitchen floor and the living room floor. It hurts her to do it and she's sore for days afterwards. So it's easier that we can be at home and we can help them because they are getting older. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They are getting older and that's just a fact of life. And so we'll be able to actually go and help them out and things like this. Um, so that's my little life update. Um, there's not much more that has actually changed um, besides like I'm now packing and trying to figure out where to put all my crap um, but yeah so with the whole nannying thing I don't hold any ill will towards the family they had to make the decision they had to make and that's fine and I mean it's nice that they're still allowing me to look after the kids and be a part of their life still sort of um, well, not look after the kids. I guess I want to say visit with the kids. So it's not like I won't be completely disconnected. Then I'll never see them again. Um, but so that's that's the nice thing. And then, I mean, last night actually was my last night. So this this is filmed on, what day is it today? The 10th of August. So last night was my last night and I actually, they got me a gift and they just about made me cry. I actually just left before I was going to be starting crying. But they got me this folder thing that's like llama, which is, if you know me, you know I'm absolutely addicted to llamas and I have a llama issue. Um, but they got me this thing that was llamas and they gave me an amazing card and wrote some really nice things in it and I really appreciated it. But... I wasn't expecting a gift for my last day like I this was not something that I was expecting and I got in the car and as I was leaving I could feel the tears running down my face because I'm like I really did not expect that and I really was I was emotional last night because it's I mean I've been there for nine and a half months almost and they were some of the best nine and a half months of my life. Like when I started with them, I had lost my job. I was unemployed for a month and it was like my whole depression, anxiety thing was down the tubes. Like I was in a pit that I had dug a hole for myself and I had gone in there and I could not get out. So my mental health was really bad when I, finally got the job there um and it took a little while for the kids to warm up to me but I mean now they didn't want me to go and I mean I totally understand where like the parents are coming from like they want to um like the both of the older kids are going to school now so the youngest one is just gonna go to daycare and I mean it's totally understandable and they made 
the last nine and a half months amazing so I mean I can't hold anything against them and I won't hold anything against them sometimes you just have to make those decisions where things change and that's the end of it they just have to change and that's it so that night the 22nd when I found out that I was getting like the the night that I found out that I got my notice I actually applied for school and I found out that Friday the next Friday that I got in so it's not like my life is just gonna stop and I don't know where I'm going just because I lost my job it's something that I'm working towards so now that I actually have the opportunity to go back to school and do these things, it's like, okay, my life is finally going to take a turn and maybe I might actually accomplish something. I might finish something. So it was, it was nice in that regard just because I knew that I wanted to go back to school. I just didn't know when, which I, well, I mean, I sort of knew because I, I did want to go back in September of 2020, but I mean, that's a little over a year away so now it's it's getting a little more real i think now that i'm going in january <sighs> well that's my life update <laughs> so if there's anything else that i there that you want me to cover um regardless of if it's life update or if it's something you want me to cover for school or for how my nannying was um i'm still kind of thinking about what i want to do in that regard but I'll eventually figure it out so thank you guys for watching and please remember to subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye